Welcome crafty friends, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda. And today I have a layout with the best of 30 days of sketches from Christie's Beautiful Life. And our sketch today created by scrapbooking Lauren Tynes. So um, if you're kind of looking, it has a, ba a base paper and then it has all these squares. And then in the bottom left corner is kind of your vignette with your couple photos, a title, and then all your little embellishment clusters. And it looked like it's a double title layout. So I kind of do that, but I don't do it in the same way. I have this photo from when I was a freshman in high school and went to a Rainbow Girls, Deemlay, Job's Daughters, um, sweetheart ball and it was always held at the Detroit Masonic Temple and that place is just amazing. So I went through my stash because the cover that held the photo has great information on it and I wanted to keep it kind of as a memorabilia on the scrapbook page. So I'm dealing with the red and the washed out aged <laughs> Uh, cover for the photo and then I have this bright aqua dress on so going through my stash sure enough from close to my heart you are enough paper pack has both of these colors so yay I can create a layout I went ahead and just pulled from my stash just using the scraps and cut two by two squares and then as you can see here I'm kind of auditioning where they're going to go in the grid kind of doing a dry fit because I don't want to use any more squares than I have to but if I'm going to see them then I obviously want to have them underneath. So this is how I think I'm going to proceed. Um, as I'm working through kind of the design I'm realizing that that hexagon with the mint color is a little it there's too much represented in my opinion on the layout so i swapped it out for the back side of another piece of paper and then i thought i wanted to kind of give more emphasis to the photo on this layout so i went ahead and cut a mat that goes behind the photo and it also ends up being um, a backdrop for one of the titles and i just used the name of uh, lance my date and then my name amanda um, as the titles for this. So I went through and with the sapphire ink, I inked the edges of the base paper as well as all the individual squares. And then using my T ruler here just to make sure that everything is spaced evenly. It is a grid pattern and our eyes can detect, you know, um, small inconsistencies. So I did use the T ruler to get all of those squares put down in there. And as you can see on the inside of the photo cover, I went ahead and put in that piece of speckled You Are Enough papers. And I grabbed this notebook um, journaling piece. It's with one of the old Cricut stamp sets. And I always cut, like if I'm gonna cut one sheet, I always cut like a full sheet that I think gives me 12 of those journaling things. So I stamp them and then they're just ready to go. And on my desk, leftover, I think as you know, I, I kind of put my leftovers on my desk while I'm working. I had these leaves that were cut with the layered, or not the layered leaves, the layered flowers thin cut is one of the leaves from there. And this white flower that I'm folding in half is also from that layered leaf thin cut set. And I went ahead and just hand cut a, it's not an oval, but a hump um, to put as the center of these kind of art artist um, rendering of a cone flower. I couldn't think of what they were called. So, you know, normally the black eyed Susans or the cone flowers, they're in different colors. Um, but I just was going to use the white with the background paper from the You Are Enough set to just make my couple of flowers here because it's a dance. We're all dressed up. So why not? I do have to say I really like how men look in suit and ties. I happen to marry a man that, you know, I think has an allergy to ties, but he's still cute. <laughs> so I have these flowers that are left over with the gold background um, from a club kit that I sent out. Again, I'm just kind of using up what's on my desk. The leaves were cut out, I believe, for my mom's heritage album that I did back in March. And to give some dimension to my leaves, as you saw, I just fold them up there between my fingers. And I also wanted to give them some of the inked edges, kind of the shadowing effect. I'm still using the sapphire ink, but I'm just doing a little tint of that on the edges of 
the leaves. So as I told you for my title, I did Lance and Amanda and I cut out four instances of each of the letters and I just used the thin cut in my dye machine and just cut them out multiple, multiple, multiple times. And the A and the N, because they're represented in both of our names, I had to go through several times to get enough. But just layering them like this, and I think in the end you'll be able to see one of the side photos, it just really gives them a dimension. And it's not you know, super off the page or like there's foam tape behind it, but it's just a nice, it's a draws your eye to that title here. Now you can see that title on there, how thick it is. And also how I kind of shape the petals of the leaves to curve up. And it just, this layout came together so quickly. I'm really enjoying using scraps. I have thousands of photos that have been unearthed in our moving process. And I'm really looking forward to just getting them album ready. That was how you could catch up with me on social media. Here's another video you may be interested in. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I love watching the comments come in and responding to you and getting to know you more. Have a blessed day. Thank you.